Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to use your check register. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and this uh, seems to cause people some confusion. So I wanted to walk through how to use your check register. Okay. So the check register, first, let's talk about what it is. All right. If you look over here, you'll see an option here, check register. So if we click on this, uh, pulls up this screen, you can choose which account. Okay. So we're doing the, if you pull the drop down, you'll see you've got the different bank accounts. We're choosing the checking account here. So let's hit okay. And it brings up now what you may see on your screen. Let me click this. You may see it looks like this. Okay. So the check register is really just an ongoing, uh, tally of money that was deposited and spent in your checking account. Okay, so if you have a personal checkbook, all right, a lot of people don't even use a checkbook anymore, but when you had a personal checkbook or you have a personal checkbook and you write a check or maybe you use your debit card, you would write it down in the paper check register that came with it, all right? And that would, that would let you know the ongoing balance of your checking account. This is the exact same thing. It's just inside QuickBooks. It's electronic. All right, so you can see here, if I scroll up, you'll see all these different transactions. All right, and you can do the same thing in your QuickBooks file. And you'll just see, it's got the date, uh, the, and you'll see the, the header up here tells you what these things are. So the number, all right, so this is a check number or a transaction number. The payee, whether this was a payment or a deposit, the account it's going to, okay, this is an important part, and then a memo section. So if you need to make some kind of memo uh, in the check register on what you're uh, spending the money on or the deposit, then you can put it here, all right? And then the amount, and it just uh, keeps an ongoing tally of what your balance in your checking account is, okay? Obviously, this is really, really important uh, to make sure you know how much is in your checking account. All right, so what I had done before was if you click down here and click on one line, all right, I just think this is a little bit easier to read. And that way you can see it, it basically takes out the um, memo section and it moves the account over here. Now you can still record all this information, uh, you know, for something in the register. It just condenses this to make it a little bit easier to read. All right, so a couple things about the check register. Uh, first of all, uh, down here, you'll see a splits button. You can split a transaction. That just means that if you spend money, uh, let's say at an office supply store, but you need to put it to multiple accounts, uh, you can split the transaction down here. So that just means you're splitting it between different accounts. So if we spent, let's say, uh, let's say this was a debit card transaction and we went to, uh, let me just pick a store. Let's say, uh, we'll say Diane's auto shop. All right. And repairs and maintenance. Okay. It took the split away. If I click splits and I say repairs and maintenance. Okay. That was $50. And if I had to put something else in here, let's say dues and subscriptions, okay, $100, okay? So I split it between two accounts and you'll see the total is $150, all right? And over here, you can close it, clear it, recalculate it, which means just add it up. So we hit close, okay, now it's got the split. All right, so let me hit record. Okay, then uh, you can also sort this. You can change the sorting, which will show the transaction. So if you want to do it, amounts, uh, order entered, date and ordered entered, cleared status, uh, you can also view the check register that way. All right, so if you want to just filter this and sort it in a certain way, you can do that. Okay, so when are you going to use your check register? Well, you can use it in a lot of different situations. A lot of times when you need to look something up or you need to look at a transaction, you can go directly to your check register. Uh, a lot of times what I tell people, you know, if you don't have the bank feed set up and you're not using that function, uh, or even if you are, and you uh, have a debit card transaction, okay? So when you pay a bill in QuickBooks, you're not gonna go to your check register. 
uh, you're going to go to the enter and pay bills function within QuickBooks. But if you have a debit card transaction, uh, or maybe a, an ACH that comes out of your account automatically, you can record that directly in the check register. You don't need to enter a bill, okay? Because a, a bill, and I've done other videos on this, is, is only when you're going to pay something at a later date. When you go to the store, or whatever, and use your debit card or have an ACH, that just comes out of your account immediately, so you don't need to enter a bill. All right, so in that case, you're going to come here and you're going to simply say debit. Uh, some people like to put EFT for electronic funds transfer. It's totally up to you. You just don't need a check number because there's no check number. You're going to put in the payee again. So let's say that this is, well, let's see. Let me go to a new transaction down here. Okay, let's say EFT and let's see Daigle Lighting and we'll just pick an account. Okay, we'll just say this is finance interest, $20. Okay, so if this was a debit card transaction or an ACH, you can just do this directly. Okay, and I just tabbed over and it records a transaction. Now, if you need to see the details of a transaction in your check register, okay, you can simply double click any, any transaction in here and it's gonna take you to the source transaction. Okay, so this one was a bill payment. All right, so you'll see we paid East Bayshore Tool and Supply this amount and this was a bill payment, all right? And if you need to take this all the way back to where the bill was, you can click on reports up here, go to transaction history, and you'll see the bill. So then you can go to the bill. All right. So you can drill down in anything in your check register to get back to the original transaction and, and do what you need to do and look for what you need to look for. All right. Now, if you try to change something in the check register that's already recorded, so let's say this East Bay Shore tool and supply, let's say that we wanted to change this to check number 615. All right, I just change it right in the register. And if I hit record, it's gonna say you've changed it. Do you wanna record your changes? You know, so you gotta be careful if, you, if that was the original check number through a bill payment, you probably wanna leave that as is. So we're gonna click no, and it's gonna put it back to it. All right. All right, so just in summary, the check register, you can record things directly in the check register. Um, you can record them quickly in the check register. Uh, if you have handwritten checks that weren't necessarily for a bill payment and maybe you're not using the bill payment function in QuickBooks, you can enter those in here as well. You can just put check 517. Let me go back here, 517, and then put in the payee, et cetera, okay? So, uh, and you've seen me click this restore button here. You can always restore it back to the original transaction. All right. So hopefully this gives you some insight and uh, you can look things up in the check register and it can be a very handy tool to know how to use. All right. Any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University. Join me over there as a member. A member is somebody who purchases the training tutorials. And when you do, you get personal support from me on your individual QuickBooks questions. So head over there now, qbuniversity.org.